factory of the future will be human-centric. And I believe in the future more and more people in the world will want to have very suitable solutions, experiences. It's not only more of the same object, but differentiation. So human-centric on all aspects, quality of work, quality of the result, on quality on imagination for people in the way they become true makers of great things for the society. The benefit to the industry of taking advantage of one of these 3D experience centers is that they can bring a project. You have all the capabilities right there in a the location. They don't have to invest in it. So they can bring a group of people. They can come, they can stage a project, and they can perform research. They can do academia-related work, and they can do limited production work all in one location. Get those results, and then they can bring it back to their primary location. When you look at how do you drive affordability, how do you change the system of work, it's much easier to be able to do that in the context of an innovation center where all the capabilities are there, where they can come and experiment like they've never done before. The 3D Experience Center here at CEL provides a playground and innovative hub to develop their ideas, their visions and their dreams. It's a mix of providers and partners, startup companies, OEMs, governments, institutes and companies like Dassault System to have an innovative, collaborative environment to optimize and drive innovations into real productive environments so that they can be used outside of CEL in real production. Major challenges facing the aerospace industry today can be considered in four major areas. The first is obviously the backlog that is presented by the major OEMs, including Boeing and Airbus, which represents over 30,000 aircraft in the next 20 years. Second is an evolving workforce. Many workers are aging and retiring soon, and skills and competencies will be going with them. Third is the integration of new technology, whether it be for entertainment, to make aircraft lighter and more efficient, but new technologies and engines across the board are typically difficult, timely, and tough to certify. Finally, the fourth one is, uh, in typically many industries and companies, flat budgets don't help to bring on this new technology. So the Dassault Systems Future Factory approach solves many of these challenges focused on the production site. The major theme, and supported by the platform, is by providing flexibility. Flexibility across organizations to access and leverage information in both planning production and in running the operations of production. There's an opportunity with that flexibility to change the way aircraft are produced. Today we have very hard media breaks. We print out drawings, which is not definitely needed. We lose the data, we lose the data continuity. So the idea is to get to an end-to-end -end digital users of the data. And for sure, to use the new technologies like classes, specific measurement devices, augmented reality, to guide the blue color on the shop floor. So we need to automatize manufacturing engineering to use these new technologies to save time. For that, with our Dassault Systems partnership, we introduce Industry 4.0 to build this link and to prepare the future. You are not asked at first to make it work you are asked to imagine new solutions and only then after find a way to solve and provide the experience. It's um, eye-opening, brain-opening. It is really a new environment for people and I believe it's going to have major effect on many, many companies worldwide. So we have a lot to invent.